Due to the efforts of Cao Pi, heir to the Cao throne, and many others, Yuan Shao was eliminated. With Hebei and the Central Plains under his control, Cao Cao had amassed the largest force in the land. Next, he turned his steely gaze toward the south. There, the major figures included Liu Biao in Jing, Liu Zhang in Yi, and Sun Quan in Jiangdong. Cao Cao decided to attack Jing as his first target. Liu Biao was killed during the initial attack, and his successor Liu Zong agreed to surrender to Cao Cao. However, Cao Cao did not let down his guard and continued to advance his army to Jing. The people of Jing trembled in fear before him. Without a doubt, Liu Bei would feel pity for the people and throw himself into the fray. Learning of Liu Bei's whereabouts, Guan Yu left Cao Cao and went to rejoin his sworn brother. Together with the peasants, Guan Yu fled from Cao Cao's advance and made his way toward Jiangling. This time, Cao Cao was determined to put an end to the meddling Liu Bei and finally realize his ambition. To that end, he would go to any lengths necessary. Cao Cao ordered Zhang Liao to give pursuit. For it was now that the hero of chaos was about to transform into something decidedly less heroic. Liu Bei must be killed. Cut down any who impede you. My lord, Liu Bei's army features many who are not soldiers, but mere peasants. They have chosen to side with him of their own free will. Therefore, they are our enemy. Soldier or peasant, it matters not. Do not forget, you are my blade. I choose who you cut, and whose blood will stay. Lord Zhang Liao, we have sighted the enemy rearguard. Yes, it is time for me to take to the battlefield. We must fly after him! serves to make me that much stronger. No, it's Zhang Liao! Fiends, you would murder innocent peasants? I will kill my. 
my very life to stop you! Lord Ryu Bay, stay safe. himself on the battlefield. Prepare to die. Time to finish this! To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. Lord Liu Bei, you must flee! I will hold them back! Closer to my lord. I will be your opponent. To retreat is not necessarily to lose. Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. Ah, oh, your efforts are dazzling. You shall see me shine as well. Yes. Even brighter than now! You are no ordinary fighter, now are you? Time to finish this! Witness my might! I must escape, or lose my life! Every victory serves to make me that much stronger. Victory serves to make me that much stronger. The trap is a little simplistic for my tastes, but it should suffice to buy us some time. To finish this, your strength is worthless against my strategy. We have stalled the enemy long enough, it is time to withdraw. The fire has been dampened through the gate and onward.
excellent display of skill. We must keep up our own end of the fight. Time to finish this! I shall return! Remember that! For yours is the first head I shall see! Ah, oh, your efforts are dazzling! You shall see me shine as well! Yes! Even brighter than now! It's him! It's really him! Brother, this way! On you! You've made it in time! Hurry to the boat! I'll hold back the enemy! The only way to Liu Bei is through Guan Yu. Then I will walk that path. Time to finish this. Prepare yourself, Guan Yu. Zhong Liao, you are a remarkable warrior. I am my lord's blade. I cut him a path. Your blade is indecisive. I could never lose to you. Silence! Guan Yu, are you alright? Look who's come wandering back. You're mine, brother! <laughs> When to quit! My lord! How? Any normal opponent would have been dead by now. No matter how many times we are defeated, we will continue fighting to keep our brother safe. His benevolence gives us the strength to go on! More forces are approaching. Come, men. You'll see. The day will come when our brother's virtue will overcome Cao Cao. Forgive me, my lord. The conflict will continue. A new world lay just before them. Zhang Liao's fierce pursuit forced Liu Bei's forces to scatter. Liu Bei himself managed to escape to Jiangsha. Cao Cao secured his hold on Jing and immediately moved to apply pressure on Sun Quan in Jiangdong. With his giant navy, he filled the banks of the Changjiang. If he could defeat Sun Quan and Liu Zhang of Yi province, his conquest would be complete. Xu Zhu and Cao Cao's other generals could almost picture the day when their long journey would come to an end. Little did they know that lying in wait for them was a secret plot by the strategists Zhuge Liang and Zhou Yu. Cao Cao would need to summon all of his might to bring his plans to fruition. For his destiny would soon be decided here along the banks of Cherbi.